I'm Courtney Silva with Salient Process, and I'm going to go over the toolkit, icon, and note controls available in our Enterprise Edition of the Spark Toolkit. I've already created a coach, and I'm going to go over the configuration options. So currently what is highlighted is a tooltip control. So under formula, tooltip formula, you can use this to put in the tooltip text. Otherwise, you can use the help box here to put the text you want in the tooltip. Appearance, show label. This sets the visibility of the tooltip label. Label placement, top or left. Width, um, it's the, a side note here. If you hover over the text in the configuration, little tooltip, will display helping you. So width here um, is the envelope wrapping the contained view of the element. So you can either use PX, percentage, or EM. And if no unit is specified, PX is assumed. Color style, default is gray. Primary is uh, blue. Info is a light turquoise blue. Success is green, warning. Um, yellow, orange, and danger, red. Horizontal position of the tooltip, uh, left, center, right. Vertical position of the tooltip, top or bottom. Behavior, uh, show tooltip. If this is selected, the tooltip will always um, be on the page. So when it's not selected um, in the page, when the page loads, you can, you can select this show on hover, and then the tooltip will uh, appear when you hover over the tooltip. Text is HTML, so you can see here I've used um, some tags here. I, so the tooltip text will appear italicized. Now events, you can um, use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control. So I have a couple events here that I'm going to use. So on load, I'm setting, I'm using the set tooltip visible method to false. So when the page loads, you won't be able to see the tooltip. And then on click event here, I am setting, using the set text method here. So when I click the tooltip, the text will change to tooltip has been clicked. And then also the color style will be changed to warning with the set color style method. And the reason I am using tooltip one is because the control ID for the tooltip is tooltip one. Now within the tooltip, um, you can't, the tooltip is meant to have other controls inside of it. Um, so here I'm using an icon and a note control and within um, but containing those two controls, I have a horizontal layout So because I want them to be next to each other. The icon control, um, go over behavior. So prevent multiple clicks. This prevents the user from clicking the button more than once when selected. Appearance, color style, default is gray, primary is blue, info, a light turquoise blue, success green, warning uh, yellow orange, danger is red, and transparent is no color. Icon size, you can use uh, PX percentage or EM. Outline only, when this is selected, the, um, the color style selected will only appear when you hover over the icon. Now icon here, you want to go to fontawesome.io slash icons. And this gives you a complete list of icons that you can use. I'm using the question dash circle icon. Border radius is the, um, the roundness of the icon. And width is the width of the icon. You can use PX percentage or EM. Now on the events, um, I'm using an on-click event here. So when the icon is clicked, I'm setting the tooltip visible to true. The note control, 
a text formula, you can set the text here of what you want the note control to display. Appearance width, you can use PX percentage or EM. Label style, there's a couple styles here, default, heading one, heading two, and heading three. Color style, uh, default gray, success green, info, uh, uh, light turquoise blue, warning yellow, yellow orange, and danger red. And events, I don't have any events uh, for this particular control. So let me play this for you. Okay, so you can see this is the icon. This is the note control. And when I click the icon, the tooltip will display. And then when I click the tooltip, the text and the color style has changed based upon my uh, my methods that I've used. Okay. So now I'm going to go over how you can get more information on the Spark Toolkit. So first you want to go to salientprocess.com, click support, and then click more about Spark Toolkits. And here you'll be taken to a form to fill out and someone will contact you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now once you have access, to the toolkit. You can browse the knowledge base where you will find a lot of helpful articles on getting started. And all of the controls have articles that are very helpful. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.